Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Okay, layers, layers in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. Ooh. Layers are the most powerful, well, one of the most powerful features in Photoshop. The fact that you have the ability to take an image and then put like clear acetate on top of it and do your adjustments on there and then build as many acetates as you want. And then you can change these acetates individually without um, altering the, the image underneath but they're a little bit complicated. Um, so recently I got this book by um, Matt Klaskowski, he's one of the presenters on Photoshop User TV, great photographer and good teacher as well. And in it he basically goes through an, an explanation of what layers are and how they work and how they change their photos and why you should be using them. And then what he does is uh, take examples um, and in all these examples you can download the images from um, from that site so you can do work on the same things and takes you through a process of using those images so you get to use all the relevant tools he doesn't go mad into explaining how it all works again it's a bit you know it's, a, it's, it's just showing you this is what to do to get this particular situation um, now a lot of this stuff I when I first got the book I was like, Ugh, I know most of this, but you, it's really worth reading it, everything, and working your way through it, because you'll discover things you didn't know, and it gives you great practice in things like selections, um, I mean, am I ever going to really worry about making a menu you know, for a restaurant with this sort of picture? Well, no, but there could be a situation when I want a pretty montage that I want to make, and he explains all that, blending modes, um, how to use them, which ones are the best ones to use and again it's all explained with examples that you can download from the website and uh, use yourself. Um, it's almost like a book, a reference book in effect you think right I need to do this um, how do I do it? Now a lot of the examples might seem a bit corny as well and you go oh god do I really want to do this but if you work your way through it and practice um, you'll find that when you want to do something in your own images you'll think alright oh, how do I mask that that building out so I can change that skyline or how do I um, move that person or you know, how, how can I um, how can I change this, the hue and saturation of that particular layer and this shows you how to do it so some of the examples are, are extreme and something you wouldn't normally do unless you're an advertising person but the practice of doing them and um, going into it is uh, will definitely help you in your general photography editing. I mean, I don't really muck around with type at all, but going through some of these examples really showed me whew, you know, the things you could possibly do with Photoshop. Um, loads of really, really good stuff, techniques that will, that will benefit um, your photography and just, just um, perhaps bring an extra dimension um, to what you want to do. So if you've got Photoshop, um, I think he's written this with CS3 and CS2 in mind really, but a few of the quite a few of the things you can use um, in elements as well because that uses layers um, definitely worth a buy um, Photoshop's layers by Matt Klaskowski um, I got this from amazon.co.uk and it was uh, pretty cheap